We continue uh, to follow the Texas Education Agency's recommendation that the HISD school board be replaced by a state-appointed governing team. HISD school board has been under investigation for months now regarding allegations of misconduct and violations of the Texas Open Meetings Act. Our Bill Barajas has been on the story all day, and he joins us live from HISD headquarters. Bill, the school board meeting is getting underway right now. We expect this recommendation on a lot of people's minds. It is, but it's unclear whether they will address the issue here at the meeting tonight. I am told school board officials will meet with their legal team to try to figure out what the next step may be. It's a preliminary report, but its recommendations and findings have been met with mixed emotions. The board needs to have its day in court. It needs to have the opportunity to be able to uh, respond to some of the findings. The issues date back to 2018. The Texas Education Agency alleging misconduct by trustees and clear violations. Were there things that we could have done differently? Of course. Violations claiming school board members mishandled the superintendent search in an effort to bring back former superintendent Abe Saavedra. In my opinion, did a walking quorum to hire an interim superintendent who used to be a former superintendent. Uh, and then when that uh, uh, vote occurred illegally, uh, reversed it at a press conference and rehired the existing um, interim superintendent. Zef Capo, the president of the Houston Federation of Teachers, admits board members haven't been perfect, but doesn't want to see the state get involved. Well, it's sad and frustrating for our school district. Um, it's just another year, another August we're going to start. Uh, with more destabilization, we're m with more unknowns. Bentoncourt says the state has stepped in before without any issues. We deserve better leadership. The kids deserve better leadership. They're going to get better le leadership, in my opinion. And we contacted the TEA about the report. They said, quote, we can confirm TEA has sent a preliminary report to HISD because the investigation is still ongoing. And to allow HISD time to respond, we cannot comment further. HISD has until August 15th to respond. Now on the Northwest Side, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.